Good morning. Okay, so a new foundation Friday. It is, what time is it? It is quarter to ten in the morning. Yes, I am eating McDonald's. No, you cannot have any. So today is another foundation Friday. I've washed my face with CeraVe Firming uh, Facial Wash, which I do every day. So that is exactly the same as last week. Today, we're going to go in with one of my favourite foundations. I have this in, let's see. I have this foundation in three different bottles. I've got them in different shades. I have got soft beige, I have golden beige, and then I have soft beige again. Because, uh, this is the dewy one, this is the regular one in the same shade and uh, this is the first one that i ever got which is in a darker shade and this is the dewy one this is what made me fall in love this is my summer pardon me this is my summer shade i absolutely love this foundation um so when i got that i fell in love and then i was like oh well i knew home for winter shade so i got this one which was the regular foundation it's not the dewy one and then i was like oh but i want the dewy one um so i got the dewy in the exact same shade the appearance basically everything about these even though this one is not dewy and this one is very 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 similar the wear for me at least is exactly the same the only difference between the two is one is dewy and one is not personally i've never been a fan of dewy foundation except for in this formula usually i am all matte no matter what this formula somehow changed my mind completely and made me fall in love with dewy foundation this is a holy grail this is the perfect everyday foundation it is very cheap it is i think under four pounds um i get mine on beauty bay it is so so cheap um there is 28 mils in the bottle and honestly it is an amazing foundation clearly you already know that this is going to be a raving review um i wear this a lot i'm not gonna lie i wear this a lot um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my skin prep that i always go in with so first off i'm gonna go in with my cos rx 96 snail mucin i know this probably grosses a fair few of you out i don't care i'm sorry this does wonders for my skin next is my cerave moisturizing cream And then my SPF again. Um, I'm using the Tesco Soleil SPF 50. Uh, I ran out of the one that I usually use, the which is the ordinary um, SPF. I cannot in the world find it anywhere. They are completely sought out everywhere. And then I'm going to go in with the ordinary uh, high adherence primer. This is my favourite of all time uh, primers. This is a brand new bottle. I absolutely love this primer. I made the decision um, basically from the last video that I would not powder my face because not enough of you powder your face. So I'm going to leave it and do it as like normal people do their foundation. I already know the difference that or how this foundation sits over a powdered primer so I know how much I love that so I'm gonna do one half a brush and one half a beauty blender um so yeah I'm just gonna go and wet my beauty blender and I'll be back okay so I have got my Morphe Y6 flat top foundation brush it does have 
this foundation on it but that is all because I used this yesterday I do wash my brushes every two days so after today this is gonna get washed hence it looks safe and then I've got this sponge this is a Primark sponge I'm not a massive sponge person so that is why I'm gonna do this on this side this on this side and go from there Okay, so from this foundation, when you open it, has like a paddle. Now, usually what I do is I will scrape both sides of this paddle, this like paddle off onto the top of my brush and apply it that way. Now, because I am not doing my full face, I'm going to scrape off half like that, pop it back away. I'm going to use that to do the half of my face. So I'm going to take my brush, get my donut off the mirror. Okay, so that half. Is absolutely beautiful it just has the most lifelike finish to it it's not too dewy it's not plain matte it's just that perfect like middle ground like you can see it kind of looks like I've got highlighter on already um, it's not full coverage I've still got skin peeking through but when I put powder underneath I get full coverage I don't mind a bit of skin peeking through because, I mean, I'm not a plastic doll. So, that don't really bother me. I'm going to go in on the other side, beauty sponge, and again, I'm just going to wipe off one side of the panel. So, that would be the exact same amount that I use usually. And let's go this side. Okay, as suspected, that has barely done anything with a beauty sponge. It's evened out the tone of my skin, but it's not really given me any extra coverage. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see how much more I would need to get the same coverage as the brush side. So I'm going to wipe off half again. And try it again. And I'm going to have to go in with more foundation again. So I'm going to go in with the half. So clearly this foundation works better with a brush. Um, because... I've already used twice as much on this side and I'm going in with them all. Okay, finally I've got similar um, coverage on both sides. I used three half script paddles um, on this side where I only used one on the side with the brush. So for me, this foundation is definitely a brush foundation. It is It just sucks up so much product into the sponge. That is the sponge I will use for all of my Foundation Friday videos. Um, that is the sponge that I always prefer to use. I do have like the, um, this Morphe sponge, but this for me, this is a powder sponge. Um, I prefer the Primark sponges, plus they're cheap, they're effective, and for people in the UK, they're very, very accessible. Where something like a beauty blender is accessible, but not as easily or readily available. So, I'm going to go and do the rest of my face. I'm not going to do much, to be fair, because I'm sitting at home and then I'm going to be doing some DIY in a little bit. I've got some chest of drawers to 
to build so i'm going to do the rest of my face something quick and simple and i'll be back okay so i just want to quickly show how i set my base because i think that could like play into the overall effect i bake under my nose and my jawline just as you can see here and then i don't add any more then i take my bronzer whichever bronzer i'm using that day today i'm going to use the morphe mega glamour bronze in a trailblazer and i oops we got back i'm gonna dust this on with my bake still there this for me it means that i'm not gonna go too harsh here or here it's gonna be more um focused where there is no powder also it's gonna give a really soft um like diffusion in those areas where there is powder there's still gonna be bronzer there just not as harsh and it's gonna be more um like airbrushed almost Then I take a smaller brush, same bronzer, and I'm going to go down the sides of my nose where the big end of my nose is, like directly on top. Now today I'm not going to do eyeshadow, so I'm going to take this same brush and that bronzer and I'm going to pop this on my eyes. And then I take my blush, whichever blush you want. Again, I'm going to use my Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. It's my favourite blush, hence I am always, always wearing it. And I'm going to pop this almost in the same place. I'm just going to take it up a little bit and then I go in upwards motions. Blush can control... Um, like the contour of your face just as much as contour and highlight and bronzer blush also plays a part in that there's no point in having your contour going up and then your blush just sitting there you want everything to go up and everything will then like work together to create the effect that you want depending on how your contour is if you contour straight across everything else wants to kind of go on that same line okay once i've done that i take a big fluffy brush and i'm gonna whisk all over my face with this this melts all those powders together you're not gonna have any harsh lines and it gets rid of any excess okay at this point i'm just gonna pop some highlights on and today i'm gonna go in with the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in blossom glow And then I'm going to set with Kimchi Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. <coughs> Fan it. And that is how I set my foundation. That is how I always set my foundation. Okay. So it is now... 10.24 and I'm just going to read the claims that I literally just screenshot from the Wet n Wild website and also Beauty Bay. 
So Wet n Wild says the newest innovation in the cult favourite photo focus franchise, Dew Foundation, a weightless super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear, silky and creamy coverage, is easily buildable from medium to full and is easily transitioned from day to night. Ideal for normal to dry skin types, this moisturising formula blends seamlessly, blaze imperfections, helps minimise the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish. Available in 20 cruelty-free shades, gluten-free, tart-free, vegan shades, ultra lightweight, moisturising formula, delivers buildable coverage and a long-lasting finish and hydrating glow. Beauty Bases, a Dew Foundation, your favourite, has just had an update. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation is now dewy. The Glowing Foundation, your bag needs, your makeup bag needs. The Weightless Hydrating Silky Formula sinks into the skin for a radiant coverage that lasts all day. The Buildable Formula makes it perfect for tailoring to your makeup look. Whilst it blends imperfections, minimises and appears here the appearance of pores and even skin tones um i didn't look how much this foundation is i will pop it on screen it is very cheap um i'm pretty sure it's under five pounds um it is just it's a beautiful foundation what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some mascara i'm going to do my lips and then i'm going to go into the hall where i have better lighting natural lighting and do a clip of my skin in the natural lighting um and then i will be back in a little while this is the side with the brush and the sponge is on this side as you can see this side still has that little bit more coverage but it looks good everything blended on top really nicely i used my huda beauty tanto i used my morphe glamour bronze bronzer um my anastasia beverly hills a blush and a wet and wild highlight which oh that's pretty um so yeah everything sat on top really nicely oh, i used my juvia's place concealer too everything just sat really nicely on top and yeah this is it for now i'll do a check in in a little bit hi guys okay so it is 8 44 i lost the nail another nail i'm now three down um this is why girls should not be doing diy this shit happens anyway 8 44 i think it was what what time was it half 10 i think when i finished my makeup ish so it's been it's been a while um so this is the end of the day honestly for the past like hour and a half i've just been laying on my bed watching lives in um the sausage group to be honest like i've just I've been watching Mrs. Live, not live, Missa uploaded a video on YouTube. So I've just been laying in bed, falling asleep, watching them. I, I want to go and take my makeup off, get in bed, watch some YouTube and just like fall flat on my face kind of thing. I am so tired. All I have done is DIY today. I am, I am extremely tired. So I can't even think straight. What is it, like 10? 11 hours since I did my makeup. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, so this is what it is looking like. I have not touched up. I haven't had time to touch up. I've been extremely busy and sweaty and gross. Um, I've eaten. I've drank. Yeah, I, I've put this foundation to the test today. Um, I even had a mask on one of these it wasn't this one because i've just washed this one it's the same as this one i had this on for a while so that was like rubbing on like that entire area of my face um because i was uh, i had to pop to the shop for a little bit um so i had that on um ow 
Oh, I had just got stuck in my nail. These nails need redoing. Anyway, so I really have put this foundation to the test. Um, it's come off a little bit on my chin, but that is typical for me, as I said in my last video, my last foundation Friday. On the chin area, I, I break down really easily there. Not only am I a messy eater when I'm like at home and not like around civilized company, I'm a messy eater, I'll just shove it in my face. Um, but like I drink a lot and obviously I'm sweating and the mask, so that is very typical. But uh, and a little bit on my jaw as well. But other than that, it actually looks really good. It's a little bit dewy, um, forehead and like here but I have oily skin, it's typical for me. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice still. Um, my skin is poking through a little bit extra, but not crazy, honestly. Um, yeah, I love this foundation so much. It is so cheap, it is so worth it. And even if you just want a foundation for like an everyday foundation, you don't want to spend your 35, 40 pound or more on foundation for an everyday. And you just want one for doing the school run or going to work or, you know, whatever it is that you do on a day to day. This is so good. Honestly, you've got a matte version, you've got a, a dewy version. This is obviously the dewy version. It's so good. Um, I cannot fault this foundation at all. Um, I have acne prone skin. I've never broken out because of this foundation. Um, everything sits well on top. Um, whether I powder underneath or not, it's got great lasting power. Um, and for a dewy foundation, that is quite like that's impressive um so yeah that is it i think i don't think i've got anything more to say about this foundation it is definitely a hit for me let me know what you think do you have this foundation do you like it do you hate it um yeah i i love it <laughs> i think you knew that from within about two minutes of this video um so yeah that is it leave me a comment down below please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on other social medias i am amylouise.emuay on everything and uh, yeah i will see you on the next one bye